gentlemen, and welcome back to Dami Super Scam Emporium. <laughs> In the last episode, we hired another ghoulish goblin to work for us. Okay, Blueberry McGee. <laughs> and he's a permanent stalker in this joy. So as customers come in and buy an exorbitant number of items, his job is obviously to go back and forth and restock this shit. That door don't open, right? No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. I was just thinking about that. I just saw I, I just saw that behind there. I was like, hold up. I mean, yes, that may be a fire hazard. It's not a fire hazard because it doesn't go anywhere. But if it went somewhere, it might be a fire hazard. So whenever we unlock that door, we'll have to we'll have to rearrange the store a little bit. But for now, we don't have that. Let's get cooking and see what kind of money we can make and who we can scam at the scam emporium. Me and the people, we were talking. And we were we were deciding that I think our best option is gonna go ahead to be and expand the store and then expand our licenses. Okay, but that's kind of expensive. So I think probably what we're gonna do, we're just gonna run through a day yearly really quickly because we need some cash flow. Okay, right now I've got twelve hundred dollars in the upper right hand corner, but that's not enough to expand the room and upgrade our license. And there's no reason to do one or the other. So we're just gonna cook really quickly. Let's do a price check really quick. The prices are still reasonable, okay? We've learned that trying to dynamically price while I have to run the checkout is cock as the cloud. Wait! <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, I couldn't even go high with it, boy. I couldn't even go high with it, fuck! Okay, this is, this is, this is yikes, bro. This is, this is yikes, this is a yikes episode. Y'all on YouTube might not understand this, but I have been obsessed with this game. <laughs> And it has all but completely obliterated my voice, okay? Because when some kind of conka shit goes off, y'all know I gotta yell about it, okay? It's just the way that the the, the, the guys intended it, bro. Okay, again, right now, I'm not really concerned about scamming. I'm just trying to get cash flow. I'm just trying to get the customers in and out as quickly as possible. So that, um... So that next day, we can expand the store out with all of our extra money and cash flow. Okay, so let's see. What are we working with here? Grandma needs back 50, 79. By the way, really, really glad that y'all are enjoying these episodes of Supermarket Simulator. Thank y'all for the love on them. Remember, you can get even more Supermarket Simulator fix in your day if you come out to the live stream over at djenda.com. Okay, just for the YouTube viewers, want to make sure you know. Okay? Anyway, let's cook. So here we go. Everything's running well. Everything's doing good. My man has got a mean stock game. We like that. Okay, this is critical. This is huge. I wonder if, and I'm, I'm speculating here, but what if I delete my cash register, I let everybody go to, to Workaholic McGee, would the line just basically perpetually back up? I feel like it might, because if it does, I don't gotta hire two bitches. I don't gotta hire two bitches. And that would be insane. You know what I've never seen? I'm just realizing that now. I've never seen a customer leave the store after picking up their items. Okay, so if a customer comes into the store, picks up their item, that customer is locked in. That customer is staying for life until they can check out, no matter how long it takes them to check out. Now, if that's the case, I could cut back on my employment costs, only have one employee in perpetuity, no matter how busy it gets, and I'll still only pay one wage. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I just stumbled on to a money hack. I just stumbled onto an infinite money glitch. Oh my God, I just stumbled on that right now, just now as I was thinking about it. If that works, I'm gonna game the system. I'll never need more than one cashier ever, ever, ever. <laughs> That means less workman's comp, no time off, minimum wage pay, and insane work hours. Oh, it's the American dream, gamers. Oh my God, it's the American dream. I'm getting horny thinking about it. I'm getting horny thinking about it. Holy shit. Okay, so I'll have like 500 stalkers, okay? Because those you do need. Those you do need. Okay, but you don't, I don't think you need more than one cashier. Huh. I think this might work. I'm in, okay. Yeah, right. Okay, well, let's just get through the day and then, we'll, and then we'll set up the store to operate on that basis. Look at all these items people are buying. Oh my God, Stumpy's gonna get overwhelmed. I don't really give a shit though. <laughs> 
He signed a contract and contract said, bitch, you got no rights. Get your ass to work. Okay, here we go. Yeah, cause like, listen right now. My man's not doing nothing over there. My man's not doing nothing right now. So if I had it set up like I just described, he'd, he'd be perpetually scanning. But that's fine. That's what I want. Okay, this guy dilly dallying, but don't he know we about to close? I got I got a scam to be implemented. Oh, he taking his dear sweet old time in that goddamn white suit. Don't that bitch know you're not supposed to wear white after Labor Day? Look at his ass. Fucking idiot. Everybody relax. There we go. All right, my man, let's cook. Let's cook. Okay, there we go. That's last customer, right? Nobody jammed up in the aisles back here. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, all good. All right, here we go. So this would this would have been pure profit today. We did spend a thousand dollars, but we made seven hundred in profit. That's fucking huge. Okay, now let's optimize the layout. Now, in order to optimize this layout, I have to do something that I would never recommend any person do. But that's why I'm telling y'all so you can learn from my mistakes. Pick this up. I'm gonna sell it at half cost. Oh wait, I can box it up. Oh, I actually don't have to sell it. I can hold it for a minute. Oh, okay. That's actually good to know. I'm just gonna put that right here. Let's just box that up and put it in the corner. Oh, that's huge. Okay, so let's put down Stumpy's register. Now here's what here's what we're gonna here's what here's where we can have a, a chance for extra optimization. Okay, because here's where the customers lined up, right? We want them to have the longest stretch of walkway to line up. And I think that this current layout actually works. But look at all this extra floor space I've just gained. Look at all this extra floor space I've just gained. Okay, so let me go ahead and modify the controversial layout. Oh. Oh, no, bitch. We can't cook. We can't cook like I thought we could. Damn it. I mean, that's close. All right, controversial layout's coming back. Okay, wait. Okay, there we go. So there you go. That's the setup. All right, no, no modification to the rest of the layout. This is fine. So I can actually fit a couple extra freezers here, which is actually really nice. Um, let me actually move this one over. Is that freezer a different size? How can I put that way further back? Wait, look how much further back I can put that. I'm not using all my available floor space here. Oh, because of the door, I think. Yeah, right, because of the door, you can't put it that far back. There we go. Okay, huge. Beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and spend some of our $3,000. And I'm not paying back my loan. I ain't doing that. Let me let me pay all this bullshit, whatever all that was. I don't even know what that was. Okay. Let's come in here. And let's do a little bit of expansion. Okay, so we got to be... We got to make sure that we know what products we're expanding into so we're, we're getting bleach cleaner oh we're, we're expanding into home goods okay that should just go on a normal store shelf right i'm assuming all of that goes on just a normal shelf so let me um go ahead and let's see our new items down here shelf 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 yeah everything goes on a shelf okay perfect Okay, let me buy two of everything. I maxed out. Okay, uh, dishwasher and toilet paper. Toilet paper and dishwasher, okay? So let's get two more of those. All right, let's buy the shelf space here. And let's go ahead and stack that here. Beautiful, come on. All right, so let's go ahead and take the TP. We'll put this bottom shelf. Oh, them bitches bulky. Yeah, okay. I mean, that, I suppose that's to be expected. Okay. So there's some more toilet paper. What's this? Uh, Oh, dishwasher packs. Okay. All right. That's good. See, I got I to lay the foundation for where they go. Otherwise, he won't know where to put them. So that's what we're doing right now. Okay. So let's put that down. What's he doing? He's stuck. Oh, actually, no. He's stalking through this shit. <laughs> See, that's how you know this is such an optimized layout. Because people can literally grab shit through the other shit. 
And that's huge. Like, that is so much more efficient. And that's better for my bottom line. And I know y'all appreciate a man who looks after his bottom line. Okay? So there we go. Let's go ahead and put up the shampoo. Okay, we've already done this. What's this? Okay, this looks like hand soap. There we go. And this is more shampoo. I should have maybe one more item. That's dishwasher tabs. And so, ah, here you go, some bleach. Is that gonna take up, is that gonna take up two? Oh no, just one. Okay, beautiful. There's some more bleach. Okay, so that's all my, that's all my new items, I think. Okay, so, let me just go, I guess I'll just, I guess I'll just fill the shelves for right now with all of our new product. I am gonna set these to market right now, but only until I verify that the pricing, or not the pricing, but only until I verify that um, my new checkout station is gonna work properly, and I think it's going to. Okay, it's kinda got me horny, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this is about to be the scam of the century. Not even a scam. I, it's not even a scam, you can't even call it a scam. It's just being smart. Y'all literally seeing a high IQ business move in progress. So let's see, I, we should be good in the storeroom. There's definitely some shortages coming in, but we'll, we'll worry about stocking up the storeroom tomorrow after after we close. So here we go. Let's open up shop and let's cook. Here we go. All right, so let's see. This is gonna be good. I mean, look at this. This is the perfect line. Oh, what the hell? Did y'all just see that shit? Am I, am I tripping? Wait, was he just stalking from the stock room? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he was. Did you see that? I, I don't think I'm tripping. Maybe I was. Okay, let's just keep an eye out. And let's just see how the customers react to the new layout. Okay? And the new, and the new, and the new, and the new setup. Oh my God, this bitch gonna... Holy shit, she might... Oh, we about to be out of T... We about to be out of TP. Quick, fast, in a hurry. Where'd she put that TP at? That bitch stuck it up her ass. Okay, wait a minute. Wait. I'm about to run out of TP uh, immediately. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to keep up on the TPs. She went back for another one. Oh no, she wasn't. She was getting something else. Okay, he's not gonna auto stock that. He's not gonna auto stock any of these front items. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on them myself. Okay. So if I just, I just want to see a bunch of customers get in line, and I want to verify that everything's okay, and then I'm gonna start dynamically pricing, AKA taking these bitches to Scam City. Okay, but I got I got to make sure that I never see a customer leave because the line is too long. Okay, that's 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 basically the the entire premise that we're working with here. Okay, the fact that I don't think a customer will leave no matter how long the line is. Oh, look at these motherfuckers. All oh, these bitches got money in their pocket that's coming to me and all I got is one stumpy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, it's literally a bulletproof plan. Look at this. Look at him. Let him let him line up to the. Yeah. Look at this. Nobody's complaining. Okay, we got a lot of customers coming. A lot. Okay, so somebody's gonna say something about the checkout counter. Any second now. Somebody's gonna say something about the checkout counter. Any any second now. Any second now. Stumpy cannot keep up. Oh my god, he's kind of keeping up. Damn. Now I thought I saved Stumpy from the circus, but he's kind of doing the shit right now. Okay, he's kind of he's kind of moving them monkey hands quick. Oh my god, was I? Was I talking shit for no reason? <laughs> oh my God. I think we're gonna be able to dynamically price gang. Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, we got the first one. Okay, I just saw the checkouts are full, but she's still standing in line. Okay, the key is that nobody ever leaves. I need to watch, I need to watch closely here and, and, and assess customer behavior under this circumstance. What the hell? Somebody's stealing product. What the fuck was that? Okay, he's mad. He's mad about the checkout lines being full. Oh no, this is homegirl. Okay, but all she's doing is she's perusing. I don't think anybody will leave. I don't think any, I think they'll just, I think they'll just permanently roam. Look, I got three people mad about the checkout situation. I got three people mad about the checkout situation. It's kind of scary, but I don't think they're gonna leave. I don't think they'll ever leave. They, I think, I think they'll just, I think they'll just wander around until, until, until it's open. Which gives Stumpy, uh, this is critical, an infinite amount of time to finish his checkout procedure. Oh yeah, look. Okay, definitely a couple of mad customers. <laughs> oh, 
okay, there's definitely a couple of mad customers, but I don't really give a shit if they mad. As long as they don't leave, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Okay, see another mad customer. But eventually they just get in line. I mean, they I mean they walk around the store like zombies. I mean, that's the truth, but new customers keep coming in. New customers keep coming in. We don't have an occupancy issue. Okay, we don't have any kind of occupancy issue. This is perfect. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is the greatest thing I've ever discovered. <laughs> Oh my God, the gods of business have blessed me with this high IQ play. They absolutely have. So I can dynamically price. I can start dynamically pricing now. Oh my God, this makes me so horny. Okay, this makes me so horny. I mean, look at this. This makes my store look like it's the busy, it looks like a Walmart. I'm running a Walmart in here, Bo. Look at the number of customers. Look at the number of customers. Oh yeah. I mean, this is a big box chain number of people I got in this joint. Oh, this is huge. Oh, this is huge. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I, I don't even know why I didn't think about this before. I don't know why I didn't think about it. They will never leave. They will never, absolutely never leave. I mean, look at them all. I've got like 17 people queued up right now. I've got like... <laughs> These motherfuckers are so patient. <laughs> but, but look at how many customers I got in here. Look at how many customers I got in here. This is conkers. I mean, listen, are we gonna be here after nine o'clock? I mean, technically, yes. But also technically, no, because the time never goes past. Bo, look at this. Oh my God, Dami Scam City Emporium is packed. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is a new level of intelligence. Gamers. Gamers. This is insane. Not a single cuss. I'm just, I'm just, sorry. I'm just trying to verify that my theory is 100% correct. But it is. Nobody will leave. No matter how many people are in line, nobody will leave. They'll just walk around with their bags until they're dead. Oh my God. Look at the crowd in here. Look at the crowd in here. <laughs> Bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just sitting here like talking, looking at it, but I am just flabbergasted by the, by this. This is insane. This is absolute, uh, uh, like high IQ. This is as high as IQ is the highest IQ can go. Oh, wow. This is conkers. This is, okay, so I can dynamically price. Ladies and gentlemen, I can officially dynamically price. But in the meantime, oh, I was gonna say I'm gonna start ordering some goods, but I'm not gonna be able to, because it's about to be nine o'clock. Okay, let's see how long after nine o'clock it takes. See, lots of customers in the store. Watch not a single one leave. Watch not a single one leave until Stumpy's done with them. This is beauty. It's like, it's like, it's like we're at a state fair, bro. And like, it's just a mass of humanity. <laughs> it's just a mass of humanity. But it cost me the same as having one employee. This is great! <laughs> I love this shit. Okay, let's go ahead and we're gonna expand the storage room. Does that give me access to this door here? Or does it still not? How much did that expand? It didn't expand at all, what the hell? Or did it go back? Oh, it went back. Oh, that's a huge amount of room. That doubled the space. That doubled the space. Oh yeah, this is, this is, this is perfect. Okay, this is perfect. Yeah, 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 right, 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 okay, 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 okay. So I can, so I still haven't got access to that door over there, right? Let me just verify. That door is still marked as closed. Yep, I can read it, it says closed. Okay, we're good. So, okay. This is honestly good, because this allows restock time for big homie too. Holy shit, I'm pretty impressed with myself, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed with myself, I'm not gonna lie. Holy shit, this gives me horny. Okay, well, let me, let me, let me put down the products that we have. Okay, so we got some milkies we can put up. Those milks move units, bro. Those milks do move units. Okay, let's see. Where's the normal milk? Um, At some point, I'm actually gonna know where these items are at, but right now I don't. Okay, wait, let me see. Right here. 
Okay, there we go. Perfect. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. See, he'll he'll work till midnight. Look at that. I didn't lose a. I'm not losing any. I'm getting full. I'm getting full. What you call it? I'm getting I'm getting full store points in the upper right hand corner too. No matter how long they wait, they don't bitch. No matter how long they wait, they don't bitch. That's incredible. That's incredible. This is incredible gameplay. Oh, it's glorious. It really is something to be seen. Okay, so here he goes. And there you go. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so let's end the day. That was our last customer. Look at this. No products not found. Nothing found expensive. This is perfect. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to grab this. Because we need to get the shelving units for our new product. Okay, so there's one. And then here's two. Okay. So, let's come on in here. By one, two. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Wait. I didn't get two of something, did I? I do have two of everything. Okay. And then one, two here. Bah. Okay, beautiful. All right, so let's put these in here so that we can get these stocked up. Let's go on the bottom with that. Oh, shit. Oh, that's a really big unit. Oh, okay, so that takes two spots instead of one. I see. Yeah, right, okay. And then here goes the Windex. Let's go there. Same thing here. This is probably going to take two spots, too. Yep, show sure enough. Look at how big that damn box is, Bo. Okay. Here we got some dishwashing detergent. I right, slapped that bitch over here. What's this? Oh, this is the champ. See, these products are really nice because you can officially stack them. Like, a lot of them. So I can actually get four more of these. So let me do that before I forget. Let me do one more each of these as well. Because he, he's actively using these, so... Oh, fucking cringe. He didn't use either of them individually. I see. Okay, that's Kalkas. Okay, so I didn't actually need more of these. That was kind of a throw, but that's fine. We'll use it in a minute. Now that I got space in my storage room, wow, that's insane. Look at how much free space I have. We got to stock up everything else, too. I got I to gotta buy out the shit that we're missing. Okay, because this, this is becoming a big part of the gameplay now, too. So between days, I got to make sure that the storeroom is stocked. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, sorry, not G. Okay, that was wrong spot. See, we, 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 we kind of starting to run out of money here now, so we got to be a little careful with the, with the stock that we're buying and make sure we have enough of uh, everything that we need. Okay, bet. So, I think we're good then. Uh, yeah, we got tons of water. I think we're ready to cook. I think we're ready to cook. Okay, I just want to verify nothing else is empty. That's really all I'm checking right now. I, I, I'm not really trying to like full stock because I don't have the money for that. Um, but just making sure we're not empty. Now you see Zap is empty, but right in front of it, I've got another 24. So I'm not worried about that one. And then everything else has additional stuff. Okay, okay, so let's go. So here we go. Time to get a little bit of dynamic pricing action on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock in on one specific item. Because if I, if I bounce between too many items, I can't verify when the price goes too high and these people start bitching, okay? Just, 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 just watch, okay? Just watch an expert at work. The first product that a customer buys, that's gonna be the first one we dynamically price. Here we go. What are we gonna buy? Let's see. Uh-oh. Now, if she goes back here, it's gonna be hard to tell what she picks up. What's that she's getting? What was that? Okay, so she got two boxes of this joint here. 
Okay, let's 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 jack it up by a dollar. Okay, now I'm watching the next customer that buys that particular item. Okay? So this is what we're watching. I'll be able to see if they bitch about the price or not. If I see three people buy that item, then we know the price isn't too high. Okay, so that's what we're watching now. Let's see. I'm, I'm literally just watching this singular product. Because otherwise, otherwise it gets too hard to track what people are bitching about. Let's buy some of these Cocoa Krispies, girl. Okay, not a, not a, okay. Okay, I'm, actually, I'm, I'm gonna do the two, so I, so I have two things moving. Okay, I'm doing 8 dollars I'm, I'm jacking up by a dollar. Okay. So let's watch. Okay, so this, this is a good viewpoint. I can't tell what that guy's buying. He might have just bought. He might have just bought the item. He didn't. He did. He did. He did. Okay. So we're just waiting to see. We're just waiting to see. Holy shit! They buying up the block. Okay. Nobody's nobody's moving that item just yet. Oh, I can actually see the spaghetti. Okay, look, look, look. I got pushed back on the. I got pushed back on the spaghetti. See, I got pushed back on the spaghetti. Okay, that's first. That's the first pushback we've seen. If I get another pushback, I'm gonna lower the price fifty cents. Oh, wait. I think somebody did buy. Okay, so somebody's bought one thing of Cocoa Krispies. Somebody's bought one thing of Cocoa Krispies. I might just jack the price on everything up by a dollar. I'm, that, I'm, I'm thinking about doing it. Okay, cause right now, I am. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm jacking everything up by a dollar. Okay, and then the and then the ones that specifically I see they're pushing back on, I'll modify. Okay, let's see, let's see the specific item names if I get pushed back or not. Okay, let's see. Okay, no pushback on the milk. We like the milk price. She pushing back on the chibi cereal. Okay, so that that's two people. That the price is too high. The price is too goddamn high. Is that this one? Or is that this one? No, no. It is this one. It is this one. Okay, see, so this, this price is too high. So I'm going to try... Let me let me take this down to 25. Okay. I, I, I got two back-to-back -back, back -back people concerned about the price. So that's how we know it's too high. That was, that was a really good test. Okay, this whole left-hand side is $1 up. And then a couple items in the middle shelves are one up. But everything else is, is, is standard market. Pasta too expensive. Okay, we got pushback on the pasta. Pushback on the pasta, but that's only one. That's only one. One's not bad. I'm not concerned about one. Another pasta pushback. Okay, and one oil pushback. So if we make an oil sale, <coughs> then we'll know that the oil price is probably just about right. But I think I did get two pasta pushbacks, maybe. I'm just trying to see one more to confirm, but we might be done shopping for today. Oh, no, she's still shopping. Okay, Burgundy's still shopping. Watch out for Burgundy. Rice basmati too expensive. But I think we're moving rice basmati units. Peanut butter too expensive. Oh my god. Okay, so we just got we just got bitch bitch and McGee in this joint. Okay, so we've got one pushback on peanut butter, one pushback on pasta, and one pushback on oil. I'm either looking for a sale or I'm looking for another pushback. Yeah, I don't I don't know if we're gonna have anybody new come in. Okay, so let's modify the pasta price. Let me take it to, let me take it to 99. Okay. I still feel like that's a good price. Um, oil, we were moving units on. I'm not, I'm not committed on changing the price on the oil just yet. And I think, I think the Basmati, I'm going to leave it same too. Oh, it's a good day to be alive, gamers. It's a good day to be alive, gamers. There we go. Nice job, monkey hands. We cooked. Okay. So we started dynamically pricing our items now, which is good. Don't trip on the profit, okay? Because we did spend a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, uh, uh, on supplies. Orange juice is the only price change. Okay, so let's modify this real quick. Which is good because that means our dynamically priced items are still good uh, and don't need any kind of real modification. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our extras in here. Because we do have some extras. Uh, this one's still not going to go. 
Ooh, that one's still not gonna go. Cheese? We sell some cheese? Okay, we did. Nice. Okay. So, how's the storeroom looking? Oh, uh, actually, not bad. We we were moving some pasta units apparently, and some rice basmati. Wait, we were moving pasta and basmati? That's huge. That means the price is perfect. <laughs> Ooh, I love that for me. Okay. 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 All right. So that means a dollar up. Maybe not enough. Okay. So let's start dynamically pricing some other items as well. Let's jack the price on all these joints up by a dollar and see if the market can bear it. Uh, this one I'm gonna go with 2.99, okay? Cause I, I, we might get pushback cause this is kind of a low, a low cost item. Uh, this one, I feel like I could get 3.99. That's almost, that's almost a full dollar up. This one's 6.99. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to get him with that 9.9 tactic. 2199. I feel like the market might bear that. Whoo, 15 bucks? Shoot, you could mistake that for 18, no doubt. <laughs> Let me cook some fucking hoes, bro. All right, let's watch. Let's watch and assess. Let's watch and assess. <laughs> okay, over in the coolers, everything standard price. Right now, we're trying to price this left hand side of the room for the proper pricing. That bitch. That bitch. Do okay, two, two, two hand souls back to back. That's too much. Okay, understood. I'm, I'm going to respond to the market demand. Okay. Let's assess. Okay. What's that, what's that guy? Oh, he's buying salt. Fuck. Oh, I, thought, I thought he was checking the price. Peanut butter's moving units. Okay, keep, keep an eye on the pasta. We got one pushback on the pasta. Two dishwasher tablet pushbacks. Shitters. That's not even that expensive, you ghoul. Let me let me do a 50 cent reduction, see if we can move some units. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is okay, so we okay, we've officially implemented our dynamic pricing strategy. Okay, so the flower is well priced. The flower is well priced, it looks like. Could be a little bit more well priced, you know what I'm saying? I need to jack the price up on that bit. Let's wait and see, let's wait and see. I, 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 I wanna see no pushback just yet. Before I before I jack the price up some more. Okay. Let's see. Okay, Stumpy over there really taking his time between customers. Okay, he he, he take like five seconds of deep breaths before before he keep before he keep scanning shit. It's insane. What does this bitch think we we give out free breaks? That bread might need to go up in price. I'm moving a little too many units of bread. Oh, hand soap is still too expensive, bro. This is literally thirty cents over market. That's insane. Okay, this might just be one of those products you can't move units on if it's above market. Okay, so hand soap, hand soap that people are stingy about. Okay, I mean, I guess it is 90% water, but still, shit. Okay, we got some dish, we, okay, wait, what, what, that guy, what was that guy mad about? He was mad about the Basmat, but we're moving units of Basmat. Okay, that, that, that's one for one. That's one for one on the Basmat. The Basmat price might be perfect. Whose scary ass face is on that? Oh, wow, well, I didn't realize there was somebody's scary face on that. I haven't moved any units that the price actually on that might be too high. This might be another one where they won't where they won't bear a higher price. Let me see if I can get an extra 50 cents from them. I, I need to watch I need to watch the cleaner and see and see if we can move some units on that because we are getting just a little bit of pushback. Okay, spaghetti's gonna go up in price. Spaghetti's going up in price. I'm moving way too many units in this joint. I don't want to get too greedy. Let me go for 19. Let me go for 919. Okay. See if we get pushed back on that or not. Okay, we're moving good units of the Cocoa Krispies. That's two, that's two good, good movements on that. I just got a movement on the Bryce Basmat too. That's a good price. Okay, I haven't got any pushback on this. I'm, I'm feeling greedy on this. I'm, I'm gonna try and do something crazy on the Cocoa Krispies. I'm gonna do something crazy on the Cocoa Krispies. I jacked it up by an extra dollar. That's two bucks up on the Cocoa Crisp. Okay, move the bottle of shampoo. We did move a bottle of Mr. Clean's Cleaner. Okay, so that price might be good now. That price might be good now. Okay. We're moving a lot of units of bread. A lot of units of that wheat bread. Let's see. Oh, that's because it's fucking market cringe ghouls. Hell no. Oh, I missed the price on that bitch. 
Oh, I was throwing with the bread. No wonder people were buying that shit. Ooh, we're also moving units of the of the of the bougie Cocoa Krispies. So my price increase on this is actually good. I'm gonna try and greet it a little bit. I'm gonna try and greet it a little bit. Go 650 on that. Cause I just I just saw my man. He he put in like seven he put in like seven boxes of that Cocoa Krispies. I just got some pushback on the bleach. Let me bring the bleach price down. Let me bring the bleach price down. That's how we handle customer complaints around here. Two more customers. We are gonna have to do a little bit of a, uh, are we actually? Uh, We have to buy some powdered sugar. I'm only gonna restock full empties again. Guys, seems to be working pretty good for us. Uh, So that's gonna be my plan. And then just try and get these prices on this left-hand side locked in, okay? That's what we're going for. Okay, wait, let's click through. All right, so here we go. Let's see what we did. Oh, okay. Okay, so we did pretty good on profit yesterday. So let me see. Let me see. Are we empty on anything? So we're empty on, okay, powdered sugar. We're going to get two powdered sugars. Um, And then bread, powdered sugar and bread. There we go. So really the end goal is after we figure out what the market will bear on each price, then we just need to maintain that ratio to the original price, okay? Because I feel like when people call shit expensive, it's because whatever amount for that particular item that they're willing to bear has been exceeded, right? So if the spaghetti we find out is about $1 above market, then we just got to keep shifting it to make sure it's always $1 above market. Okay, but other things are 50 cents, other things are 25, etc., etc. Okay, this, this, this is high IQ business talk. I know a couple of y'all might not understand. I know a couple of y'all might not understand. Oh, let me pay off this fucking loan real quick. Because I think we got enough, don't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, easy. Oh, easy. Easy, baby cakes. And we're about to hit level 20. <laughs> oh, no. I'm about to get another stump. I'm about to double the stump. I'm about to double the stump. After today, we might be able to double the stump. Oh, there we go. Okay, the peanut butter's moving units. The spaghetti. I feel like the spaghetti. Oh, that's pretty... I'm gonna try 49 on the spaghetti. We move a ton of units of spaghetti. Okay, push back on the Bosmat. Push back on the Bosmat. I wish it showed you how many, I wish like it gave you a more detailed breakdown of what people find expensive and how many items you sold total. Cause like that would be the real way to dynamically price is at the end of the day, like look and be like, okay, well, three people found the rice Bosmati expensive, but three people did it. You know, or whatever. So then you could just see how many people said what about it. So then that way you could make an accurate decision. Uh, unfortunately, right now I have to pay attention to what they say, like because there's there's a, no other way to know what's expensive and what's not. We're moving a, we're moving a lot of boxes of those Cocoa Krispies. Or these uh sorry the ooh we could probably go oh that price hasn't changed that might actually be optimal price for that one. This one might not be optimal. There's a lot of people buying that shit. Let me try. Let me go up a buck on that. Let me go up a buck on that. $12 for a box of cereal is caulkers. But not in Dami Super Scam Emporium. That's a good price. And she's buying it up too. <laughs> okay? She wearing them high heels. She can afford it, bro. She wearing them high heels. She can afford it, bro. She's talking about the bleach, bro. This, okay. This bleach, I can, I, I, we got, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to sell this at cost. I don't think we moved a single unit of bleach since I raised the price at all. She also might just be bitching. She also might just be annoying. That's also a potential. There we go. See, but that's that's market. Let me 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 at least feel good about this. Let me at least feel good about it. Let's go 499. Maybe maybe we can't break the fiver on that. Maybe we can't break the fiver on that. Okay, moving units on the milk. I think I need to raise the milk price too. Let me go 1280 on this. Dombi Super Scam Emporium says that's a good price. Okay, she's getting that pasta. Bosmat, that's another Bosmat pushback. Hmm, I honestly feel like. Let me try 4A. Let me try 4A. Ooh, okay, we got a pushback on the Cocoa Krispies. That's good. That's good. Because we've been selling too many units of it, so I raised the price. We're moving a lot of units of this flour, too. Too many units. Let's try 899. Okay. Dishwasher tablet pushback. We've been moving units of it though. I'm not gonna change it. I'm not gonna change it. Yeah, no, dishwasher tabs are good. 
and the Cocoa Crispy price. Okay, so this is a confirmed price. What is this? This is $3 over. Okay, still moving units on the spaghetti. The spaghetti's a good price. The Cocoa Krispies are a good price. Yeah, that's I'm getting about the exact pushback ratio on the Cocoa Krispies I'm looking for. Maybe on the shampoo too, to be honest. That guy literally called the shampoo too expensive and then still bought it. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Oh my God, it's because of the layout of Scam City. It's because of the layout of Scam City. It's literally the perfect setup. It's literally the perfect setup. Because he probably went to the checkout lines. They were busy, and so we came back and bought it anyway. He thought about it, he said, Dami's right, That's a, that is a good price. That is a good price. Let's wait and see. I think the peanut butter I haven't got any pushback on. We might be have, actually have a little more lenience on this than originally anticipated. Let's go up to 670. Let's see, let's see if the market will bear a $2 above market price increase. Toilet paper. Okay, toilet paper might actually be too expensive. I'm getting, I'm getting some serious push. I haven't moved, I don't think I moved any units of toilet paper. Let's drop it by a buck. It was $3 over. Let's try two. Okay, let's wait and see. Ah, uh, we might not be getting any more shoppers tonight, actually. What, 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 what's, what's the new license we can unlock tomorrow? Uh, we don't need that. Mozzarella cheese. Oh, some more frozen shit. As well as honey and eggs. And then a new kind of powdered sugar. Okay, right, 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 right. Honestly, we can buy that right now. Damn. Okay, so we got we got a lot of we got a lot of new shit here. We've just unlocked. Let's see. Let's see it in the uh, in the store section here. Okay, so we got honey, cheese. We still don't need a freezer yet. We still haven't got a single thing that takes a freezer, which is kind of insane to be honest. And really, not a lot of it goes on the shelf either. I don't actually think we're going to need new shelf space for these. But we will need a new freezer. For the for the frozen goods. Or sorry, a new a new fridge, a new fridge. So I'll probably run back two of those. I can't buy it yet though cuz after 9 p.m. Okay, so there goes last customer. There goes last customer. Let's finish out the day. Oh yeah, huge. Huge, huge, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Do not trip on that. Do not trip on that. Again, the profit is is, is is a disingenuous indicator, okay? It's the total money earned. That's what we're looking at. That's what we're looking at. Okay, so let me buy these. All right, let's figure out where we're going to put these. I was going to say I definitely got the flash. So that means we can put one there. And then one more here to box in Stumpy. It's perfect. It's literally perfect. That way the customers... Oh, I mean, look at this movement. Look at the seamless movement through the aisles. Come on, gang. Okay, so... Actually, let me buy one shelf. Just for the Mimis. Let's buy one shelf just for the Mimis. Okay. I won't box in the stalker here. There we go. Okay. So let's buy one of each new product. Some of them bitches are expensive. I'm not even gonna be able to afford the tuna. The tuna is $78. What the hecky? This looks like a frozen item. It is. Damn, I can only afford one of them joints. This honey's expensive. You know this. <coughs> you know this shit's expensive, bro. Okay. What the hell is that? Mozzarella? Mozzarella. Okay. Uh, here we got some Pablo's sugar. Is that liquefied sugar? What is that? It looks like it's in a squeeze baggie. Okay, and then the eggies. We got we got we got a, we got a half carton of eggies. Four eggs instead of six. That's insane. Okay. What is this? Oh, this is TP. Actually, I don't think we sold any TP, so I don't think I need any extra. I don't. But we definitely pro sold some Cocoa Krispies. We was moving units of Cocos. Oh, wait, that's not Cocoa Krispies. One bag. There we go. Okay, so we got some new products on the shelves. Oh, uh, it turns out I didn't need the extra freeze. Okay, I got a little horny on that. I definitely got a little wee bit horny on that. 
And I was gonna say I should I should I should fill up the stock room, but we can't afford that. But I think we'll be fine. I definitely think we have enough product to make it through another day, no doubt. No doubt, no doubt. Okay, so let me price these joints. Okay, so this I'm I'm also I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna price from the beginning. Uh hi. So let's go. That's that's an that's a double digit project. That means double digit uh price increases. Well not double digit, but um two dollars over. Same thing here. Oh wow. 14 even, say less. Actually, actually, let me back up. Okay, scamonomics, thank you very much. Okay. Okay, wait, 618. Okay, and then 313. Aggies, Aggies, people are really, really cheap about their Aggies. Let me try 299 on the Aggies, Bo. Damn, honey's too expensive. Okay, and they don't like the price of the cheesy Parmesan, neither. Or do they? Oh, no, he's reaching through. Have I sold any of those? No, okay, so we're already getting some pushback on this. Let me go, let me go 599 on this. Okay. And then I also got pushback on the honey. So let me take it, let me take it a little bit closer. Pushback on the mozzarella, fucking idiot. Oh my God, that's not even an exorbitant price. Let me go 599 on that. Let's see if we can see if we can cook with that. What's that bitch talking about? You talking about the shampoo too expensive. No, no, no. I've been moving units of shampoo. I know the shampoo's not too expensive. That bitch trapping. Man, these people are cheap as shit. Bro, mozzarella is not cheap to produce. Are these bitches that that stingy? What do you say? Oh my god, that bitch wants the fucking tuna. I couldn't afford the tuna. I couldn't afford to put tuna in the stove. Wait a minute. Wait, I gotta, I gotta put some tuna. Oh my god, are they gonna test my ass? They better not try and buy this before I said it. Be quick. Be quick. Be quick, be quick, be quick. Put it down. Put it down. Set the price. Put it down. Set the price. Okay, wait. Okay. Okay, we got it. We got it. Don't trip. Oh my god, I got my, my heart was racing. Okay? You know these cheap ass customers try anything to get a uh, to get ahead, bro. Try anything to get to Yeah, look at that. Look at that. I knew that bitch was waiting. I knew that bitch was waiting, trying to get trying to get a freebie. Hell no. Okay. There we go. He's stacking that bitch full of the tuna. Stacking that bitch full of the tuna. Okay, look at look at no price pushback on any of my products on his left hand side. This is perfect. Okay, I do want to see just a few. Just a few. But not too many. We're still moving a lot of units of bread. With not a whole lot of pushback. Let me go 59 on this. Let me go. Actually, let's go 40. Let's go 49. Okay. Let's wait and see if we get some pushback on the bread. I'm about to buy another checkout counter. Just to get us moving through. Because I want. I don't want to end this episode until we're level 20. And level 20 is taking a long time getting there. We're chunky scanning that shit slow as hell. Okay. Stumpy scan game. A little too absurd for me. I guess I could just. I guess I could just. Like, just pop this out whenever it's convenient and then pop it away, right? I guess I could do that, huh? Wait, but I want to be able to see the customer's reactions. Okay. Anybody need a scan? All right, my man. All right, let's cook. All right, I'm only taking a couple customers here on line three. I'm only taking a couple customers here on line three. You heard? You understand? Only a couple. Don't everybody shift. Don't everybody shift. All right, I'm going on break in 15 seconds, okay? So anybody else in line, you're going to have to go over to Stumpy. Anybody else in line, you're going to have to go over to Stumpy. 49.27. Oh, 49. Oh, wow. That could have been catastrophic. Okay. Fucker. Try to scam. I, I, I shouldn't scam right now. I shouldn't scam right now. What'd I just do? Oh, I'm giving that bitch a 20. No. Okay, 70, 71. 
All right, let's cook. Let's cook. Oh, my God. This guy's got a lot of shit. Okay, probably a good thing I'm doing this one, Bo. Stump would have had us waiting, Bo. We got, a, we, got a, we got a cheese eater here. Okay. Let's cut them lights on there, Stumpy. You standing right there. Use them. Use them. Shit's to your advantage. What was he bitching about? I think, was he was he bitching about the checkout lines being full? No, he couldn't have been because my checkout line's right here. Well, I'm, try, I'm, just, I'm just trying to watch prices real quick. Just trying to watch customer feedback. This guy's bought a lot of shit. Okay, he's bitching about the cereal, but I know the cereal price is correct. I know the cereal price is correct. The cereal price is perfect. Okay. Let's wait. Just keep an eye on people and how they approach my 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 properly priced products. Oh my god, push back on the parmesan. Have I sold any of this? People will not pay above market on this. They they simply won't. They simply won't. I don't think we moved a single unit of either one of these. It's insane. Why will they not pay above market? Cheap twats, bro. Cheap twats, bro. How are you gonna have a mozzarella palette but not wanna pay for the mozzarella? Mozzarella bougie food. Mozzarella bougie food. Okay. Nobody bought my honey neither. Bitch talk about the peanut butter too expensive. Literally the first person in the entire history of the planet to say that. Oh, I'm all spun around. Whoa, what's grandma doing? She picking up some shit. That bitch said this was on the ground. It's free. You saw that bitch. What was she doing? She conniving. What was that bitch doing? She's conniving. She thinks she's got some free product. Put that shit. Bitch, I'm going to scan that. She better not walk out with that. Where's she going? Oh, she's going to check out with Stumpy. But she knows I saw it. So she, she, she can get away with it by checking out with Stumpy. Okay, let's check the profits. Okay, 19 products found expensive. One product not found. That was Tuna McGee, bro. That was Tuna McGee, bro. So let's see. We are starting to run a little bit low. Probably in the storeroom, too, I would speculate. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're getting cleared out, cleaned out in here. Okay, so Eggie's Orange Juice. Eggie's Orange Juice. Oh, wow. Okay, wait, I'm trying to, um, let me just take a picture of this on my phone so I can just order all this shit real quick. I wish you could just duplicate your order, but you can't. That's not a thing. Okay, yeah, because I know, I know he's going to move right through these. Basically, the second I put them up here, he's going to use them all. So I'm just going to put them up here so that he can start using them. And then that way I'll have an immediate refill right after he's done. I can't, I can't hire a stack of stuff yet. That, 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 that's why that's why I put that other that's why I put that other thing there, so I could try and speed up us up getting to level twenty. Cause we, oh 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 I am level twenty. Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't see that. Oh I didn't see that. Oh then yes we are gonna hire a second stump. So oh wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute I haven't put the new products. I mean I don't think I've really moved any new products have I? No, not really. And I'm kind of broke, so I can't even afford to fucking do it anyway. But we need to make sure that I that I that I put a stock location for them joints over here. Oh, I've also got these in the corner. What are these? This is toilet paper and bleach. Yeah, okay, bet. Oh, actually, I can put a bleach here. And then no TP yet. Okay. So yes, yeah, so we need to put the new products here on the end. But I've I've currently got everything else filled up and that means that we're totally stocked up okay which is good so here's what i want to see now um how much profit wait can i do i have enough money to hire another hand how much is that yeah 180 bucks i do okay wait a minute so let me figure out how to optimize this layout here oh they can't quite make that they're gonna be bitching Oh, no, wait a minute. You don't want to do it like that because you want to have maximum. Yeah, because you want to have maximum um, runway. Okay, so there we go. So I've hired on a new clerk. I've got Stumpy 1 and Stumpy 2. <laughs> Are two monkeys better than one? Gang, I'm sure I don't know. 
but I'm sure I don't know. Okay, so we just hired Monkey Boy 2 to match up with Monkey Boy 1, and we need to see how much more efficient these two are. Now, we are going to be doing that, but we're going to have to save that for the next episode. If y'all enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe, let us know what else you want to see down below, and most importantly, make sure you come out to the live stream with me and the people over at djendom.com. Dot com. Now, if y'all want the series to continue and y'all want new episodes to keep coming out every single other day, okay, that's how we've been doing these every other day, then y'all gotta keep watching the hell out of these videos. That's how these joints get renewed for a season two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, okay? You gotta watch the hell out of them and do all the standard YouTube shit. Love and appreciate y'all. We're gonna see you in the next one. Bye bye!